textile industry became a global mainstream manufacturing industry in the 18th century with mass production of yarn and clothes. It was a source of industrial development in the UK at the end of 18th century and at the beginning of 19th century. Then after spreading out to many countries of the world, including Africa, the textile industry had become the base of their industrialization. However, the scattering of textile industry has not been proportional throughout the world for many reasons. Since relocation has become one of the amazing trends in textile industry these days, there is a possibility of fair scattering of this industry in the world. The textile industry has continued to relocate from one country to another, from one region to another, depending on whether that particular country uh, is in the process of industrializing or already has done that industrialization. Now, China appears to be the last major destination of the textile in that part of the industry. It is not going to continue to be the producers of something like 50% of textiles and apparels in the world. Labor costs are going up, and therefore, textile industry will of necessity have to relocate from China to elsewhere. It's already relocating to Bangladesh, to Vietnam, to Cambodia, and so on. But these countries are not as big as China, so there's spare, there's capacity to spare for us in Africa. Like any other African countries, Ethiopia has a huge natural and human resources which are important factors for textile production. Recognizing this comparative advantage in natural and human resources, a number of textile industries are coming to Africa in general and Ethiopia in particular. What is very important is right now world textile is coming through Africa. There is no doubt about that. There is no other option. So it is coming to Africa, and coming to Africa, it is coming first to Ethiopia. And when you do compare Ethiopians' uh, work, uh, working performance compared to, to with our own colleagues' investments with the Northern Africa and other African countries, when we do evaluate, Ethiopia is much more skilled and much more eager and in the quality-wise, efficiency-wise, much more preferred. That is why there were a lot of companies on the track to coming to make investment in Ethiopia right now. So it is very clearly, presently, without any question mark, textile is coming to Africa. The textile business, it has... Uh its own characteristics and uh, it's always looking for low-cost country and uh, as you know Africa in general and uh, Ethiopia in particular is uh, a very low-cost uh, country to do business in textile especially as you know Ethiopia, it is uh, the second populist country in Africa. And uh, this uh, population has uh, a very great impact on the textile business. Because textile is a very labor intensive uh, business. And uh, when you look at the structure of our population still, less than uh, 50% of uh, the age group is uh, less than 30 years. So this is a very young force, which has really very important uh, for the competitiveness of the textile sector. So we have the manpower, uh, cheap labor, able to do the work necessary for, for uh, industry. So we have the, the infrastructure, we have the um, natural resources, we have the labor power, what we lack, is infrastructure. Infrastructure to make business, textile business here, profitable and competitive. Whether it's transport, efficient, cheap transport, telecommunications, power, whatever. And training of that young population. We in Ethiopia recognize that these are the bottlenecks hindering industrialization in general 
and the textile and apparel industry in particular. And, and, and we will put uh, the necessary effort uh, to address this challenge. We are not there yet, but uh, we've come a long way and we plan to complete the journey. In addition to cheap labor cost, there are several factors which are pulling a number of foreign investors to Ethiopia. One of these factors is Ethiopia's proximity to major international markets including Europe, Middle East and Asia. The different market access and investment incentives arranged by the government, which is free from duty and free from quota, play an important role to attract the foreign direct investment. As a pace of all these comparative advantages, significant numbers of investors are coming from various corners of the world. Ethiopia is also working aggressively to welcome these investors. One of the important steps that we are doing now is the development of industrial zone because those investors they should come and they should start as quick as possible the, this business. For that they need ready-made land for their investment activities. So the government is recognizing these important uh, elements and uh, we are currently developing these industrial zones in different parts of the country. And one of the most important uh, initiatives that we are taking at this point in time is the development of Bole Lemi Industrial Zone in Addis Ababa. And uh, this industrial zone, it will be completed by the next two, three months. So we expect as many foreign investors to be located in that area. And likewise, we are developing in Dreda, and we are developing in Awasa, and Cambodia, and in Tigray, Makali areas as well. So this is one of the, uh, the preparations that we are doing. are very much uh, working with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to interface with other government organizations to facilitate and to speed up their investment process. And we are, we are working also in, in, that, in that direction in the, my institute, especially when uh, we, we take the textile uh, investment, we are acting on behalf of investors. We are facilitating each and everything in every organization uh, office. So the, the commitment and the preparation from, from our side is to take advantage, as you said, we have to tap this uh, potential and we should not miss these opportunities as well. So we are, we are preparing ourselves in all aspects. We are trying to streamline our customs and regulation uh, procedures. We are trying to streamline our investment laws, investment proclamations also, to really make uh, business as simple as possible. Saigon Textile is one of the international textile companies which relocated its company in Ethiopia. Arriving in Ethiopia, the company gets its new name Saigon Dima after the Turkish company Saigon and Dima, the Kabale where the factory is located. It was established in December 2009 with a total capital of $78.5 million in Sabata town of Oromia Regional State. Since its establishment in 2009, Saigon Dima Textile Share Company has been setting up three factories on 60 square meter of land. This company produces various mixes of fiber products, acrylic and wool products in two of its plants. The establishment of that uh, companies in the production line has have had three major plants. One of them is short stable. In that short stable, Saigadima Textile Company is going to get the opportunity to produce various blended uh, type of yarns from various fiber types such as cotton blends, polyester, viscose, linen, wool, more in the line of the fashionable and much more value added with respect to in the world fashion line to serve to the weaving industry, knitting industry, flat knitting industry, socks industry.
The other of our uh, plant under Saigon D Matexai share company is the long stable plant. In that long stable plant, which is own unique, it is the first of its own kind in Ethiopia. That plant will produce uh, polyester wool, which high quality, especially for the men's and ladies with outer wear fabric qualities. And also in that long stable uh, acrylic yarns, which is very common in the local market, which the majority of the consumers are using this hang tight acrylic forms, is going to give the opportunity to transfer this technology in Ethiopia to produce that yarn in Ethiopia. Under this long stable line, we do also do have the twisting unit. This twisting unit is going to make two ply yarns for two uh, plants spinning yarn production. So that will uh, give us additional value adding and also additional uh, technology of which we brought to here with elastic covering of elastine yarns in that twisting unit. The third plant of Saigandima Textile Share Company used for spinning, weaving and dyeing of textile products. Uh, third plant is the weaving and finishing line. In that weaving and uh, finishing line, we do are gonna make the finishing and the weaving of the fabric which we're gonna produce the spin yarns in these two plants. So in this uh, weaving and finishing line, our concentration are gonna be for the ladies' outerwear, men's outerwear, and home textile, technical textile, all the high-featured fabrics, we do have the know-how and the technology. Saigandima is a joint ventured company by Ethiopian government and Turkish investors. 60% of the share is owned by the Ethiopian government, while the remaining 40% is owned by the Turkish origin textile company known as Saigon Textile. According to the agreement, this company is required to export 50% of its products to the international market. Saigon Dima Textile Share Company, it is a joint venture company because uh, the majority of the share is uh, from the government side, 60% from the government and 40% from the foreign side. And uh, as you know, one of uh, the structural problems in the Ethiopian textile sector is the weak linkage between and among the sectors. The backward and forward linkage in the sector is extremely weak because uh, our, our approach is to develop the garment sector vigorously. To develop the garment sectors, those garment sectors, they need to get uh, sufficient quantity and with good quality fabrics. So Saigandima, uh, it is uh, with this intention that the government has involved to help the private oppressors initiative in this country. Because Saigandima, they are uh, specialized in fabrics manufacturing and uh, those fabrics are very unique in this country and very important at the same time for our garment manufacturers. So Saigon Dima, they have uh, started production last month at full scale, and now they are trying to feed both to the garment manufacturers and at the same time they are involved in the export business. So we believe that uh, it will help us to minimize the problem that we have so far in some, in some degree. Textile industry is a very sophisticated business in terms of its technology utilization and production system. It needs trained and skilled human power to produce high quality textile products. To satisfy the demand for skilled human power in the sector, the Ethiopian Textile Industry Development Institute is working towards capacitating the technical and vocational training schools in the country. The human aspect is very important for the textile business. We have, as a government, we have recognized this aspect as well. We are currently uh, working with the technical and vocational schools, and uh, these technical and vocational centers are expected to produce mass of operators level, level force to the industry. We are addressing to build the capacity of those centers because we do have as many vocational centers 
as as uh, possible in the, all, all all over the country. Even in Addis Ababa, we do have more than 12 technical and vocational centers, only in textile. And we do have also all uh, in the countryside as well. So we are trying to build the capacity of those centers to produce the right type of labor force to the industry. We have uh, already designed the curriculum, and uh, we have uh, already uh, uh, worked the vocational standard, the scale, and the level of operators that we are needed for the industry. So it is based on those scales and those vocational standards that we are trying to produce from the uh, from these uh, schools, and we are very much working also with the universities. We do have the Baharda University. When we first came here, the first questions what we are asking about uh, skilled people, with respect to electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, te uh, textile engineer, because. You can make an investment, you can build a factory to make money, to make money. but if you're not going to have a, the proper human resource on the ground, you fail. You fail. And when we, you say in the short term, because you must have had to need to train those people with whom you expect them to manage that investment. Now I can proudly say for local and for foreign, investments, we are here and preparing a lot of engineers. There is no doubt for them to be curious about who is going to manage in technical side, in the management side. So we were giving day by day, week by week, and with our engagements with the Ethiopian education system universities to create these opportunities and let the local and the foreign people be encouraged and not to hesitate to make investment in Ethiopia. Saigon Textile Company has accumulated experience in the area of textile marketing at international level. Having this experience, a simple effort will help the company to penetrate the international market. We are coming from Turkey, and Turkey is right now exporting roughly 20 billion USD of textile in the global market. So we do have the connection to a whole global textile network. So when we were communicating in any level of the quality, the service matter, we have this know-how and the technology. So it gives the encouragement of our foreign customers to be work and to be in the line of their supplier. Because in the export market, it is very, very important to get into their supplier list. So we have bringing that our name that which we are already in that list of the supplier list. Saigon Dima Textile Share Company started its production this year and now working for 24 hours every day. Planning to raise the number of its employees to 1,000 in the future, at this time in point the company has employed 800 employees. <laughs> This company has big importance in our life. Here in this company, there are new machines which we are not familiar with. Some of them are even not manufactured in Ethiopia. In addition to that, there are new textiles which are under production for the first time in Ethiopia. The Turkish experts have accumulated experience in the sector so that it is a good opportunity for us to share knowledge and technology transfer. Our universities or colleges are only offering theoretical education. But since this company established here, we are learning a practical skills. We are capacitating ourselves and it helps us to contribute our share to our country's development. Compared to other countries of the world, Ethiopia has not yet fully utilized its untapped potential of the textile sector. And a bright prospect is ahead to use this opportunity and to bring change in the sector since the textile industry is relocating itself from different countries of the world to Ethiopia.
in terms of potential the limit is the sky we can say that we have not yet done textile business in this country if we look at the number of establishments that we have in textile business with in comparison with other countries it is extremely very very low in terms of medium and large scale enterprise we do have all in all 80 units 85 units maximum 85 units and when you look at uh, same competing countries like us like Bangladesh Vietnam and Romania the number is extremely very high in Bangladesh at this point in time they do have more than 5250 units of garment only garment only I'm telling you these 80 units are all in all textile spinning weaving garment all in all but in Bangladesh garment only the numbers are 5250 in Vietnam it's more than 2000 so you see when you look at the potential the advantage the comparative advantage we have in this country we have not really take advantage of it